What's going on guys? Jamie Bruce here. I've got my brand new Lund Pro V Bass and something a little bit different on the bow this year. Uh, I've got the Batmobile of trolling motors. It's the Garmin Force. This thing is, uh, you know, it's a different look than something we usually see around here. So I've been getting a ton of questions. We're gonna take it out on the water and just kind of highlight a few things and see if we can answer a few questions for you guys. So the first thing you're going to notice about the force is just how clean everything is on it. Uh, you know, I've got my one live scope wire and that's really all you see and all that's exposed. The trolling motor pedal is wireless. Uh, there's good rigging channels for like the power wire and it's just super clean. It's not in the way of my rods. I just have that pull cord and, and I really like that. I mean, we've all got a bunch of graphs on the front of our boats now and you know other electronics and accessories and whatever else guys are throwing on their boats and so it's just really nice to have less wires up there uh, you know more room for other stuff and not a bunch of stuff that's going to be grabbing on your reel handles and everything so so one of the first things I noticed about this trolling motor is just how powerful it is uh, I've heard it before that they've got a lot more power because they're uh, you know a brushless motor and and just a new design um, but I thought they'd be a lot more comparable to other trolling motors that I've, I'm used to. It's only a hundred pound thrust, but because of the brushless motor, I don't really know the science, but it's a rocket. So I'll crank it up, we'll do the speed test, and this is gonna blow you away. I love showing people this, because it's a freaking rocket. There, we do have a minor tailwind right now. We can spin around and do it the other way, but you can see it climbing. Three, six, three, seven, five. Hopefully we don't cream a rock here. 4.2 434 Okay, that's what it's going to go in this situation We've got some current coming at us and wind at our back 4.4 miles an hour So I don't know about you, but I don't like paying for gas When it's, you know, 8 bucks a gallon in Canada So I've got lithium batteries in this thing I hop on that if I want to go up around that corner, I ain't firing up the big motor. I'm just going to hop on this troller and rip. And because it's brushless, it's 30% more efficient. So you're not going to kill your lithium batteries. A lot of the times when I'm hopping in between deep spots or, or you know, bays where I just want to go to the next one, I'm, I'm actively up and learning. I'm not, you know, I'm not sitting down there eating a peanut butter and jam sandwich as much as I want to. I'm up here. I might see suspended fish on my live scope in between humps. I might see a, a you know a piece of timber that I would have otherwise not noticed. So, you know, by by getting up here and and instead of idling, it just it opens a door to a lot more opportunity, and it only has to work a couple times in a year to to really make your season that much better. So, something to think about. Um, just a ton of speed and power. Hee-haw. Less trolling talk, more fishing, baby. So another thing I really like about this trolling motor, and you'll notice it too, is just how quiet it is. And that's that brushless motor, uh, you know? It doesn't sound like an old magic bullet blender down there when you're sneaking around. It's just really sleek, quiet, and uh, for fishing shallow and you know deep fish maybe moping right under the boat it's it's really going to make you know that much of a difference so i mean you'll see people at the top level anglers at the top level that'll specifically have old school trolling motors uh, without power steering or anything just to quiet down a little bit uh, so i mean that's built into a state-of-the-art trolling motor now and it's something i'm really going to like when i'm weaseling around you know shallow weed fish and, and trying to be a little bit sneaky. So something to think about on that front. Another thing that Garmin's really done different on these 
is this display on the right on the arm of the trolling motor. So you can see your speed up and down, and it's you know there's a lot of variation in range on these. Um, so I, I can see my speed because it's so powerful. If I had it cranked up to 10 and was aiming the other way and I hit that button, Buddy's going for a swim. So, you know, I could see now it's a green light, it's super bright, the sun's out and I could still see it. I can see where I'm on spot lock and, you know, just another nice feature to have on the arm. Another thing I need to touch on and it's really important to me because I fish a lot, I fish competitively, uh, I need something that's going to hold up to a bunch of abuse and, you know, everything that I'm going to put it through. Since lithium batteries and live scope have come along, I spend a lot more time on the trolling motor. And this thing is just super solid. I'm not seeing bushings wear out. It has a, you know, a super nice gas shock system. I'm not hearing that slap and play that, you know, you'll see after a month of hard use and, and some of the other trolling motors have had in the past. So really important feature to me. Uh, you know, I fish big water too. I was just on, on Lake Michigan and you can, Things can go south in a hurry. Um, you want something as solid as possible in the bow of your boat. That is taking the biggest ass kicking of any other piece of equipment on your boat. So the thing at the bow needs to be solid. Another thing with the force that's unique uh, and you know certainly new to me is the wireless foot pedal. I have it hardwired right now to a 12 volt line, but this thing is set up so you can run it on AA batteries and apparently that lasts you the whole season. Uh, you know, I'm a tournament angler, so I'm not going to test that. Uh, just out, you know, recreational angler, I'm sure it'd be fine. But I know musky people a lot like to kind of move their trolling motor. They like to stand sideways. So you can do that, you know, especially when this thing's wireless. Like I said, I've got it hardwired, but there's nothing else in the way. Maybe you're someone that likes to stand sideways. You know, you can do that. If, uh, if you're a guide or, or you know, or prefer the back of the boat, you can pick this sucker up, pack your lunch, go to the back and drive it from the back. I'm never going to do that, but you know, there's a lot of situations where it might be kind of cool or really helpful. I know when I used to guide, I wanted to be at the back of the boat and you know, just so you can see everything in front of you. You don't want to get hooked in the back of the head with, you know, a bunch of treble hooks. So, um, and I, you know, I used to get my remote control, go to the back and drive from there. Well, if you've ever driven with a remote control before and you're used to a foot control trolling motor, it's not going to work out very well. So just another cool feature if it, uh, if it applies to you. So like all modern trolling motors, there's a, an anchoring mechanism on this. It's called anchor lock. You know, just hit the button, lock into place, nothing new. Uh, but what is new to this is the ability to adjust gain on the force. So, you know, if you're like a, a walleye angler and you like Lindy rigging, you have your sweet spot, but you don't want to be totally locked in and having the motor adjust constantly. You just kind of want to do -si do around. You can turn that gain right down and then just, you know, it just kind of does a little, every once in a while it fires up, give your rig a little drag. You know the deal if you walleye fish. Uh, bass fishing, out deep, super specific, locked onto a boulder the size of a pumpkin. I want that sucker tight. So I'll crank that gain right up, lock it right in, and I'm not moving. So just another cool feature that the Force has to offer. Well, a couple other things while I've got your ear. Uh, the lifting system in this thing is really nice. Uh, gas assist, it just comes up like a breeze. And this is one of the best parts here. I'm gonna lift it up, it'll automatically turn that trolling motor head to the side. So, I mean, I'm not, as worried about that for myself because I've lifted trolling motors before, but sometimes I'll have an inexperienced person in the boat or my wife's really bad for it, is bashing that motor up without it turned sideways. So the Garmin, I'll set it forward. Time to go, auto turn. Minor thing, but just a really nice feature to have. So the gas lift system in this thing is super nice. It's kind of hard to demonstrate, you know, because you're not feeling it, but it's super light. I'm someone who likes to fish, you know, a lot of spots in a day, and I pick that thing up a lot, you know, in, in tournaments running around. So I can appreciate that it's saving the old back a little bit. Uh, everyone's already torching their necks on live scope and everything. So, you know, you kind of have to save your, save your bod while you can. So one last thing I've got to talk about on these force trollers is, you know, kind of the options. 
they really have it simpled down right now. Uh, 24 volt, 36 volt, same unit. You can run two batteries, three batteries. And the thing I really like about that is if you have a three battery, 36 volt system, uh, you know, one of them takes a flop in a tournament or something, you can just rewire and, and be back to 24. Just gives you a lot more options and, you know, makes things simple on that front. They've got the built in clear view and side view in, into every trolling motor, so you don't need to worry about that. There's there's just two models. There's a 57 inch and a 50 inch. And you know, those sound long, but you actually have to take five inches off of that. So I, this is a 57 inch. I'm used to a 52 inch troller. So something to consider. Uh, bass boat, most common shaft length on a, a different trolling motor brand would be a 45. This one get a 50. I've heard murmurs of, you know, a longer one coming out for the big walleye boats, but that's where they're at for now. So they've got a good stock of them at, at Lake of the Woods Sports. So, you know, it's, it can be hard to find stuff right now. They've got a bunch of them, you know, the guys there know what they're talking about and uh, check them out. Any questions, drop them below and we'll see if we can take care of you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for joining us.